sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Go on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. He won! <laughs> See? I told you he could do it. Aye. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Toggle! Where do you think you're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. They've closed the gates. Let's hope the side entrance is still open. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. Good luck. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Are. In 
in the church. Then I'm going to find them. The bad men took everyone to the church and... and... <laughs> Please help my mommy. You're the kind man who saved mommy. Thank you. Mummy says the bad men still have some of our friends. You'll get them back, won't you? I knew you'd save them. I told Mummy you would. Can I have another cup, Daddy? There'll be none left for me. <laughs> the tavern. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but... Oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? They can't get away with this. If people start thinking Martha's gone soft, every bandit in Rosaria will think we're fair game. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. And all because they dared to look after their bearers. Most people wouldn't trust a bearer, but Martha, oh, she knows how to pick her friends all right. Lads from the garrison all poured in, sword swinging, and took Martha away with them. You're new here, aren't you? Once things have calmed down a bit, I'll see about finding you a bunk. Thank you, kindly. Sorry, but if you're looking for a bed, there's none to be had right now. We're already sharing our cots with masterless bearers and those who fled the floods, and more seem to wash up at our door every day. Are the bearers taking well to their new home, do you know? I sometimes worry how they'll manage without me to cook and clean for them. These apples are all foul! Would you rather you went without? Is that book interesting? You'd know, if you learned your letters. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. Oh, nice cloak! I want one. What happened? Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. Ah, Sid. We were just about to start our next lesson. You're welcome to join us. But be warned. I tolerate absolutely no tomfoolery. Perhaps they're old enough for the sins of Zemeckis. Did you even read it? I thought the whole page, just like you said. I said, fill it with words, not scribblings of moogles. But I want to help Miss Mididol with her experiments. And you can, as soon as you finish solving those equations. I knew it was a good idea to have editors study alongside the children. It's really stoked their competitive spirit. What happened to the sky? Do you think Sid broke it? Hush, you two. He did no such thing. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid-scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. My biggest worry is that the children have somehow damaged the scales, but are wary of asking for help because they think they'll be punished. And if I find out that's the case, I swear I'll take the switch to every last one of them. Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully she won't. 
This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. If Mid is teaching my pupils her secrets, I suppose I should brush up on some of them myself. Miss Shirley, how can we learn to be clever like Miss Middadol? You can start by paying attention during your lessons. Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for our lesson today? What a wonderful idea, Jocelyn. Let's do just that. Miss Shirley! Miss Shirley! I want to learn how to build an airship so I can fly up to the Dark Crystal and crack it. That's very nice, Jocelyn. But perhaps you could start with your sums? When you return, would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your last. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> Time was there were great coin sacks swinging from every belt in town. Not anymore. Since the capital moved, they're all shriveled to the size of peas. Only by the grace of the goddess did so few succumb to their wounds. I'd say it was more the grace of the dame. But helps help, eh? One at a time now. Is enough for everyone. The captain said to bring our wounded here. And we'll be ready for them. We've got ointments and linens aplenty. That armor looks positively stifling. I could have it off before your captain even knew you were gone. It's my turn. Let me try. Come on, give it back. If my dad finds out, he'll clobber me. You rest, girl. You've earned it. Uh, excuse me? What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. He'll probably be by the tents. You... you won't hurt him, will you? So it's these stones to Canva, and the rest of the boxes to Dalamil. Home! <laughs> but without masters! No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. So this is our new home, is it? I 
heard the Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own food. The victuals Martha sends us are more than enough for me. What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. We can't let anyone take our home away from us. And we won't. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. Come on then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Thank you, my lord. You showed us what it means to fight for what's ours. And we shall strive to follow in your footsteps. We had no idea what it meant to live free. But that's all going to change, starting now. We have nothing since fleeing the Republic. But we do. Our lives. And each other. Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. 